Welcome to part 6 of this video tutorial series on how to create a shooter style video game using Adobe Flash CS4. Here's a look at what we've got so far. We've got score, we've got lives, we've got dead octopop. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a title screen. So we're going to go ahead and grab all our frames and just remove them to the right one frame over so they're in frame 2. Then what we're going to do is create a new layer. You can name it Actions because we're going to put our stop actions in that layer. We're going to need a blank keyframe in both of those spaces, so just right click, insert a blank keyframe. Then go to your first frame and right click and select actions and then put a stop action there, STOP, parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. Go ahead and test your movie out. Let's see what you got. It should have a white screen. Perfect. That's what we want, actually. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new layer and you can name this title screen or whatever you want. Uh, we need two blank keyframes there as well. And this is what we're gonna have our title screen on. This is later we have our title screen on. And uh, you can go ahead and draw whatever you want there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my rectangle, rectangular tool and draw out a rectangle there. And uh, red will be the color that I choose. You know, that's red's a little harsh. So let's see, let's put a little bit of a gradient on there. And uh, let's pick a good color. Red to blue gradient. Uh, let's make it purple. All right, we can use our gradient transform tool. You can make your title screen look like however you want. It doesn't matter. You can get real creative. You can put little animations going on on that title screen as well. But for right now, I'm going pretty quick, so you get all the nuts and bolts of things. I'm going to go ahead and type out the name of my game on here with the text tool. And let's call it Attack of the Octopi. That's a pretty good name for a game. And again, you can really enhance your text if you want to make it really cool. But for these purposes, I'm just going quickly. Just put that into place there. Right. Put a little bit of emphasis on that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw here on the stage. And I'm going to draw me an evil looking octopus You're coming off the corner. Really kind of scary. Not really scary, just, you know, kind of cheesy scary. Another tentacle over there. Some really scary not really scary eyes. Almost lazy eyes there. And again, you can really make your drawing very detailed if you'd like. And, uh, you know, you can even animate it. You can create your movie clip on there and have that movie clip repeating. Color it in there. Make the, the eyes white. Now the next thing we want to do is take a look at that and it looks pretty good on our stage. So let's go ahead and add a button and then we're going to add some actions to that button. So we're going to go up to window then we'll go to common libraries and select buttons. And you'll have this little box pop up and all these folders have some buttons in it. Um, some of them aren't buttons, you need to be careful with that. A button will have a little finger pointing down on it then you know that that's actually a button. So I'm going to go underneath. The classic buttons, I'm going to pick myself an arcade button. I'm just going to click and drag it to my stage. And that's a good place for it. Then I can give some indication of what the button will do. So I'm just going to use the text tool to type underneath that button. This is how you're going to play the game. Put play now. Yeah. 
All right, now we've got our button in place, but if we were to push the button, nothing would happen. And to prove that, I'll export it, and you can see the button works, but it doesn't really work. It doesn't take us to the next frame. So we want to make it take us to the next frame, which is where our video game is. So open up Actions on the button, go to Global Functions, Movie Clip Control, then On, then double click on Release, and go outside of the curly bracket, go to the blue plus again, Global Functions, this time Timeline Control, Go To and Play, and then of course we want it to play Frame 2. So go ahead and give yourself a 2 in there, export it, and you'll see it kind of flashes up there, or it doesn't play at all, and that's because we need to have an action uh, to stop on frame two. So go up to your actions layer, right click in the second blank keyframe, select actions, and then type STOP, parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. Now we've got a stop action on that frame, and look, our video game works. So that's how you do it. Um, uh, if you've stayed with us through the whole video tutorial, you should have a game that's operational. And hopefully you'll have fun with this and be very creative and create some really cool games from this just using this coding and this basic setup.